Hello friends and welcome to Quebec. It's really hot here. We'll be eating on the patio, on the go. On the menu today is beef. The main ingredient will of course be beef. One kilo. This is rump roast, also called round tip roast. The meat is extra lean, an ideal cut for knife cut steak tartare. And of course burgers. The other important ingredient will be the bread. For the dough, you can check out my homemade pizza video. Of course, we'll need other ingredients. We'll get to them in due time. First step, keep the meat in the fridge. Let's start with what will take the longest, the dough. Place it on the counter. We'll use our white knife, of course. Cut it in two. Bring the tray forward. Add some flour on the surface, like this. Make a ball out of the dough, like that. Folding it towards the inside. Add some flour, like this. Flatten it. Make the dough even, like this. Move on to the other one. Same process. Bring the side toward the inside. Add some flour and flatten it. Place it on the tray, like this. And the last one. Same process. With our white knife, we can cut two. We're now done with the plate. Flatten a little, like this. Put the dough on the tray and flatten them. That should be enough. Glaze them. This is an egg beaten with our miracle device. Paint it on like this, around the edges too. That's enough. Mix the sesame seeds, black and white. It's optional, of course. Add some, like this. Use a small knife to make a cross incision. My oven has been preheated at 350 degrees. Put the bread in the oven. This will take 30 to 40 minutes. This will give you more than enough time to prepare the meat. Here it is. Place the meat on the counter. We'll be using our red knife, of course. Cut it into strips so that it fits inside the grinder. Turn the meat over and cut it like this. That's enough. Put the knife in the sink. And now let's move on to mincing the meat. Turn the machine on. Not too fast. And one more. And we're done. My 10 fingers are all still there. Everything's in order. The grinder part can go in the sink. And now what you must have all been waiting for, seasoning and measurements. So for one kilo, 10 grams of salt. Cumin, five grams. Ground pepper, five grams. Isu spice, three grams. And voila, you can find out how to make isu in another video. You can of course mix this all in with your hands, but since the mixer's out, I'll make the most of it. Set the bowl in place, add the dough hook on, lift it up, and let's start slowly. Stop the mixer, use a rubber spatula and scrape down the sides, and we keep going. The meat has been well mixed, stop the mixer. You can lower the bowl, take the hook off, and put it in the sink, like this. The meat can go back to the fridge. Let's check on the bread. It's not ready yet. Moving on to the sauce. Grab a jug, place it on the counter, crack in an egg. Add in some Provencal mustard, a generous tablespoon. I've got some homemade harissa sauce left over. Let's add it all in, like this. That way, it won't be wasted. Add in some salt and some pepper. Miracle device and mix. Add in oil. That's enough. Unplug. Tap. Taste. It's perfect. Put it in the fridge. After 40 minutes, the bread should be ready. Gas off, bring the bread out. Indeed, the buns are ready. Grab a spatula, unstick them. Quality check. Impeccable. And impeccable. We're now done with the tray, you can let them cool. Let's move on to the meat. Take it out of the fridge. And voila, plastic wrap. As I've made the buns ahead of the burger, I can tell how big the burgers need to be. With the spoon, make it even. Wrap the plastic wrap around it and flatten it. Make it even. Set the burger aside. Keep the plastic wrap. And same thing, even it out like that. Fold and flatten. Make it even. Open it up and place the patty on the tray. A third one. 
close it, flatten it, even it out, and our third patty is done. Set it aside. The rest will be for tonight's dinner. We're now in the final stage. Heat on. Seeing as the meat is extra lean, you can add in some duck fat. Add in the duck fat like this, spread it out evenly. The fat is hot enough, we can start. Put the patties in like this and let them cook. Around 30 seconds on one side and then we can check them. As for the salt and pepper, we don't need any as it's already all in there. After 30 seconds, turn them. Lift the pan for added security. And we're going again for another 30 seconds. After the second round, it should be medium rare. Heat off. Add raclette cheese on top like this. And voila. My oven is still hot. I'll put the pan in the oven. This is so the cheese can melt. The cheese should have melted by now. Heat off. Indeed, it's all melted. And now, let's plate up. Place the bread on the counter. It's not cold, but almost warm, which is perfect. Use a bread knife and cut it in two. With a spoon, spread some sauce on the inside of the top bun and on the bottom. Make it even. Impeccable. Add some mesclin flour mix, like this. Put the patty on top. Red onion. Use a red knife, of course. Cut a thin slice. Put the slices here and there. Put the top back on and put the burger on a plate. You can add the side around it, multicolored potato chip. You're in luck because they're also on my channel. And that's enough. And for the chips, you can add an extra dip. Like that. Quality check of the meat. Orange knife. Cut it in two. Perfect. It's cooked rosé à l'arête. Of course, you can cook it as you prefer. Blue, rare, medium, and well done. Maître d'hôtel, the burger for the patio is ready. Order up. Thank you to those who follow me from Denmark and everywhere else. See ya. Bye.